In this tutorial, in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at the issue of video stabilization and how to stabilize video. The video you see on the screen here is not too bad, but it was not shot with a tripod. So you can see a little bit of motion if you look at the very edges of the video. Now if you were to look basically at the center of the video, you wouldn't know much movement at all. And that's in fact one of the tools it uses. Sometimes it will crop your video as well as simply adjust the smoothness of the frames. But let's assume that this is not quite satisfactory. What I'd like to do is show you a quick insert clip of a video that has been stabilized, this very video, and one in its normal state, and you'll see the difference. The video on the left has video stabilization applied through a tool called Shake Reduction. And you notice if you look at the very left margin of the picture in both of the frames, that the left panel is somewhat more stable than the one on the right. The truth is when you are shooting video, holding the camera in your hands, even your breathing will tend to move the camera slightly up and down. And so without a tripod, you may have some issues. Here they're rather minor, but you can still tell by comparing the two videos, especially looking on the left side of each one, that the shake reduction does make a difference. So what we'd like to do is show you how to use this tool in Premiere Elements 2018. So now that we've looked at that, we've come back to our video, which is playing on timeline number one. And let's assume we want to apply stabilization. I'd like to, in this tutorial, show you the easy way to do that. And I'll just show you the kind of options you have if you want to get in more of the details. You go to the adjustment icon on the upper right. It's the two sliders and click on that. The second option down is called Shake Reduction. I can click on that and it gives me two options, a quick option and a detailed option. Most users will simply use the quick option. Let me click on the detailed option so you can see what that in involves. When I go to detailed, I have a, an area called advanced submenu. If I click on the right arrow, it will tell me I can adjust the motion, smooth or no motion. I can adjust the smoothness from 50% to 1000%. On my video frames, I can choose one of four options, stabilize only, stabilize and crop, stabilize, crop and auto scale, which is my default, and stabilize and synthesize the edges. Those are the four options that I have. And then I can use what's called a rolling shutter ripple and make that either automatic or enhanced. And I can adjust a feature called crop versus smooth. Most users will not get into all these details. Uh, we may deal with them in the future tutorial, but we want to show you a very simple way of doing this. And one reason I like to keep it simple is the number you see right here. I'm going to cancel that and if I want to make it go away I click on the garbage can by shake reduction. Let's load it again. This time we'll just hit quick. And if I look here on my processor I have one frame of 1822 frames and the clip is only two minutes long. This will take a great deal of time to re-render I'm not even up to 1% yet in the shake uh, reduction. And this is using the quick option. So unless you have lots of time, and notice that it says I have quite a bit of uh, minutes left to finish this, I wouldn't recommend normally going into the advanced tools in this particular utility that we have inside of Premier Elements 2018. Right now I've got over 25 minutes left on a two minute video. If you have a large video to apply this to, it's going to take a lot of time, even in the quick mode. So that's my recommendation. It does work, but you have to have some patience. 
it's a good opportunity to catch up on your reading while it's applying this to every frame on your clip. But as you saw a few moments ago in the comparison, the difference is real. And if you are in a situation where you need to reduce the shaking of the camera, this very simple way to add it. And that's all there is to it in applying shake reduction to a video clip in Premiere Elements 2018.